All right, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having an awesome day, man. Welcome back to week six of the Patriot CFM where we are taking on the Indianapolis Colts now. This guy actually just traded for Trey Lance, who is a superstar X Factor. Obviously one of the best players in the most recent draft. It's super exciting playing these young rookies, man. If you guys are excited for this episode as well, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. We are so, so close to 22,000 subscribers, man. Support's been awesome as of late. I appreciate you guys so much. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the game. All right, so now before we start, we actually have to go ahead and take a look at the roster. And this guy's got some crazy players, man. Christian McCaffrey, Michael Thomas, Trey White, Roquan Smith at safety. He's got Chris, Chris Samuel, Curtis Samuel, 95 speed receiver. Oh my God, this guy's team is actually kind of nasty. And then of course, he's got Trey Lance at quarterback as well. So honestly, I wasn't expecting this guy's roster to be that great, but it's actually one of the best I've seen in the league so far. We're definitely gonna have our hands full. Quick roster update right here. Lamar Jackson, 99 overall. Jerry Judy and Duvernay have both moved back to wide receiver. Now that they're both 85 overall and get both ability slots, Eckler is an 89. Landry is an 89 as well. And then on the defense side of the ball, man, this is where the magic happens. Jalen Ramsey and Simmons at linebacker 86 for Simmons 99 for Ramsey Rocky Sin developing nicely as well Kerry Vincent who we missed our star dev upgrade with last game I'm still bummed about that but Eric Stokes up here as well superstar Chase Young Abukum and then Josh Allen man this defense is absolutely locked down we have not been allowing any points as of late and hopefully that does not change right here all right here we go guys we are taking on the two and two calls as we're trying to get sticky with Stokes and oh my god I get absolutely rocked right there we're still both undefeated in both cfms man i'm trying to go 16 and 0 in both that would be a crazy feat it starts right here by winning this game take our little check down to landry turn up field for a nice little pickup right there now you guys know i love this spread man it's a very impetuous offense that might be one of the best sat words i've dropped all year man i love it the ravens though i am switching up again right here with the bucks I told you guys in my Jack CFM episode, it's not a permanent change. Don't worry. I still love Ravens more than I love any other any other playbook in this game. It's just fun to keep it fresh, man. And obviously, a lot of the spread concepts carry over from spread to spread. Oh, as we're getting... Oh, okay. Okay. Look at these impetuous offense. It's crazy. My pocket is insane. And Eckler toast. Is that rope? Look at Roquan Smith. What is this dude wearing? It doesn't matter. He got absolutely cooked. He's got too much padding on, man. He's running too slow. Eckler burns him on the playmaker up the right side of the field 7 nothing, impetuous thank you the lurk is crazy with simmons oh we got the conservative glitch by the way if you guys play on offense on conservative you guys get a pick like that and you're you know your player covers the ball you run slow just tap a tap a it'll cancel the animation you can run full speed again and because of that we're able to just basically just do car wheels in the end zone right there 14 nothing. we're off to a fire start The defense is too good. My defense is just way too good this late in the year, man. I am bagging everyone I play. It's just really not fair. Oh, Stokes. Stokes with the 98 speed. Can we turn the corner? We can, but there's so many defenders there just waiting for us. Still a really nice return. Should have A for a touchdown. He's absolutely naked. Can he make the throw? It's a dot to Jerry Judy. Blown coverage assignment from my opponent right there. We caught him changing defenses. He has no third on this side of the field in the cover three, and it is wide open, 21 to nothing. Oh, all right, a bit of a surprise running right there. Two of my players in the middle of the field just took each other out. Oh, Robinson, put your hands up. Chase Young, throw the... Okay, no, don't throw the block. Just gets crazy sticky on him. Simmons to the crib. 28 nothing. I feel bad, man. I feel bad. I might just have to start letting people score. I, I don't know if I can let up a point right now. I'm a, even if I try it, I'm going to be honest. I might be getting a little cocky. Let me chill out for a second. Let's lock in. Let's make sure we win this game and don't fold. Because you guys have seen me before, man. There's definitely been some games where I've been blowing someone out and they just come back. And it saves me a lot of embarrassment, man. So let me go ahead and lock in. Let's win the game. Ooh, he has to be the corner out dot right there. That was a really nice play. Oh my god, get out of there, Ramsey. The pressure. 
a pressure burst of pipes, baby. We are all over him right now. And Ramsey just sitting there waiting for it. Landry, backside dig, baby. Just because we're not the Ravens playbook doesn't mean we don't have a backside dig. All right, we actually have Duvernay still at running. I don't know how Duvernay still at running back. I moved him back to receiver, but... Um, all right, I mean, not bad, not bad. We'll, I will take it. Run the ball with Eckler right here. Power O is such a good look against those four down linemen sets down here in the red zone. Highly recommend using that run a lot more. And uh, we're up 35 0. All right, well, we're starting to run the rock every play, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense down 35, but hey. And uh, now we just came out in goal line. I'm not really sure what's going on here, I'm going to be honest. That's a hard flat. That's Isaiah Simmons in a hard flat. And that's Isaiah Simmons to the crib for yet another pick six. Ooh, that was a nice little dot on the fade down the sideline. I was not expecting that at all. And that's going to end the half right there. Eric Stokes come up with his first sack of the game. 42 nothing and a half. I say that's not bad. Oh, you playmakers me. I didn't even realize this whole time you had McCaffrey receiver. I'm going to be honest. Eric Stokes just screamed. I'm going to be honest. I probably should not have returned that. I don't know what I'm doing right now. All right. I don't know who Colburn the second is, but hey, nice run, kid. Nice little run right there. That was a hey, we definitely almost got sacked. That's a Lamar Jackson effect, man. If they blitz, just run away from the blitz. They can't catch you. It don't matter if it's a DB or an end. Oh, Johnson! Johnson! Make a miss! Johnson to the crib! Let's go! K-Max old man sick is the thing of the past. We have some crazy run stick right there. Johnson in the end zone. 49 to nothing. I wasn't even really trying to score, man. I was trying to just take some clock with me. I mean, if, if we're going to make someone miss with Johnson, we might as well take it all the way to the crib. Mmm, a little playmaker action right there. And Stokes with another sack. His third of the game, man. 98 speed flying off the slot corner. It's too easy against trips, man. They don't have a run. The running back and the tight end are on the same side. So if we just blitz off the side away from both of those guys, like he just comes in free. You know, just score one more touchdown. Why not? Uh, that's going to do it for us, though, man. Um, GG's. Unfortunately, wasn't close in the beginning. Our defense is absolutely suffocating, man. Our roster's too good. Our adjustments are too good right now. We're getting crazy pressure from our D-line. We're getting crazy pressure from Stokes off the edge. Honestly, just feel bad for my opponents. I'm going to be honest. But we lost the last season in the Super Bowl, man. It's no time to get complacent. It's no time to take it easy. We got to make sure we're locked in for the rest of the season. No matter who we play, no matter the record. I need the Super Bowl, man. I need it bad. Let's go ahead. Let's see what upgrades we got. We actually held him to... Uh, oh, Quick math, actually 100 yards. Exactly. On the dot, 100 yards of total offense, but we forced a ton of turnovers, ton of sacks, ton of hits in the backfield, man. Couldn't ask for a better defensive performance. Let's go ahead and see what upgrades we got. All right, do we get anything good? Oh my God, we get nothing good here. Rashad Robinson, I believe, is one of the only guys who actually plays. We'll give him the zone upgrade right here. He's actually pretty solid, 94 speed, I believe. Pretty young, plus two zone coverage. That's not bad. Unfortunately, none of these guys actually play. Play. So a bit of an uneventful week five next week we take on the Jets All right, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having an awesome day, man Welcome back to week seven of the Patriots CFM now the reason for the couple day delay in this video man is the fact that my opponent in week six gave me the force win he wasn't he wasn't around to play not much i can do about it so we take the force win versus the jets i believe we're five and zero currently like i said taking on the texans here in week seven and if you guys remember last season the episode where i played the texans and the guy was using dan chisnia like six foot three 96 speed at both user and wide receiver i still to this day don't understand how he did it we're playing him again so this should be a really interesting game for us definitely want 
want to keep the undefeated streak alive. If you guys are excited for this episode as well, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for 22,000 subscribers, man. We are now on the road to 23. So again, I appreciate your guys' support. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the episode. So before we start, guys, we actually got Defensive Player of the Week. I didn't even play last week. I just forgot that. I clicked on this. I was like, who did I get last week? I didn't even play last week. Marcel Darius. Darius. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Excuse me. A veteran in the league. Uh, somehow ends up AFC Defensive Player of the Week. I've never seen that before. There's 32 users in this league, and a sim game got a Defensive Player of the Week, and Darius, nonetheless, a guy who has never played a snap for us. But he gets five tackles, two sacks, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. So, a shout out to Darius, man, helping us get the dub in the sim win. Outside of that, though, not too much to talk about. Let's go ahead and check out the Texans roster. So here's the Texans roster. I actually forgot this was the guy with Patrick Mahomes. He's got Aaron Jones, superstar out here with 94 overall. Bobby Harrison, Boyd, Thielen. Thielen, who actually lost abilities. I did not even realize that. If we sort by speed, there he is. Six foot three, 96 speed, Dan Chisnia. I don't, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments below, but he's got some really fast receivers. He's got some decent speed in the secondary. I'm expecting this to be a good game. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, here we go. We're starting the game off hot. Yes, we are. Post route to Jarvis Landry. A nice little completion. Not able to make a rack move right there, but hey, good dot to start the game. Okay, he's got two contains out there. I got absolutely bagged, man. It's a container rain match cover. Nothing was open. All right, here we are, guys. Uh, you know what? I'm expecting kind of the same defense for most of this game. I'm going to be honest. Right there, as we hit the backside dig, this guy's running a pretty rudimentary defense. SAT word of the day right there. Rudimentary, man. He's keeping it pretty basic. He's not going to be making too many adjustments. He might switch up the play calling and stuff like that, but he's going to keep the contains out there. He's probably not going to blitz me too often. He's going to keep it simple. As long as we don't turn the ball over, we should be pretty good here. Should have the slant. It's a tight window. Oh, my God. Four man rush for contains. The slant's open this time. Jarvis Landry might be the recipient of a big game this time. Coming up the slant, touchdown. He started to drive off hot too with the crosser. Actually, I think he got two crossers. And then the touchdown. It's off to a good start. All right, first thing we got to do is check for Dan Chisnia. There he is in the middle receiver slot. I don't know how this guy does it. I should have asked him the first time it happened as Eric Stokes shoots. Eric Stokes. Eric, what, what am I saying? Eric Stokes shoots the gap. I got to ask this guy how he does it actually. And guess who catches the pass? Guess who, man? And Dan again. Dan. I feel like he's going to catch a lot of passes this game. Oh, we come in, but we get nano detected. He's going to go. That was a laser, but Dan drops it. And man, Dan gives and Dan takes. Thankfully, right there, he took. It's coming out mid blitz right here. I'm terrified. I'm running the ball. Can we get some? Can we get some blocks? Oh my God, Judy, hold the block. We're off to the races. Bobby Wagner on the set, but look how fast Lamar Jackson is. Crosser open to Landry. I didn't really want to go down right there. Still a nice completion. To have the seam open, Duvernay, that's a laser, he lights up, makes a contested catch, and I don't know, where did I just even look at? I went to go look at the camera, and I just, I just looked down here. What is wrong? We scored a touchdown, so, uh, yeah, we'll just pretend that didn't happen and just move on. Corner route, Stokes! Oh my god, I thought we got to it. I don't know how Chisney did not animate right there, one of us has got to catch that. Adam Thielen, backside, backside dig or backside slam? Are they the same thing? I actually don't know. Nice little completion right there. Big first down, 14 nothing. We get off the field right here, man. We're gonna apply pressure early, set ourselves up to win this game. He's killing me with these quick passes right now. Okay, Max, stop blitzing. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what's going on right here, but every time this guy passes to Dan Chisnia, it just like glitches out. I don't know if that maybe has something to do with the fact that like he's also using him on defense. Nothing open, we get the pressure with Chase Young and he should be sacked out of field range. Fourth and 17, that's a bad sack to take.
We get a great playmaker up the field with Jarvis Landry. I'm going to pitch it. Oh, my God. The guy from behind comes up and makes the tackle. That would have been a sports center top 10 right there. I really just throw an interception to Everson Griffin. Why was Everson Griffin even 40 yards down the field? That was really stupid. Chase Young, baby, let's go. He's gonna punt? Am I getting dotted again? Oh my God. Judy with the laser. Oh my God, if we just turn straight up field and he messed up his user, we might've been able to score. Playmaker up the field. Jarvis Landry can get out of bounds. Ah, we'll change of direction. We're able to get out there. Stop the clock. One timeout left. Out route, out of bounds. No, the clock keeps going. It's right there. Eckler with a huge catch. We ran the option route against man coverage. It absolutely cooks in. Obviously, Eckler having good route running. Able to just cut it off. Make the catch. Score the touchdown. We're up 21 nothing and a half. Let's go, man. Take off with Lamar on 39. Some big third down conversions this drive. He's getting me to these third and longs, man. I'm kind of just running the ball, milking some clock here. I'm up 21 nothing. Just like we drew it up. Just like, hey, exactly like we drew it up. We got in the huddle, man. We discussed amongst ourselves. What do we want to do that play? Oh, he hits me with the delay fade. Oh, I hate that route. Nothing open. Throw away illegal or illegal intentional grounding. Inten intentional grounding. That's what it's called. Intentional grounding. Oh, get him, Chase Young. Chase Young has been having a monster game so far. Urawi, Urawi, with the interception. I pronounced his name. Probably not correctly, but I tried it for the first time. Urawi, with a huge interception right there. Probably to steal the game. Let's go ahead and choose some clock. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, Eckler. Oh, yeah, Eckler. Oh, yeah, Eckler. Ooh, Eckler to the crib. Oh, crazy run stick right there. They said K-Mac, your run stick is atrocious. I said I know it is. But sometimes we have flashes of brilliance. Stokes! Oh, we need a Stokes interception! Well, that wasn't open. Eckler. Get sticky on him, Eckler. Get, get, oh, ah, ah! Oh, ah! I could score right there, boys, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna just get out of the game. Yeah, we probably should have gone in with Eckler. Possibly get him superstar at some point. I'm just gonna go down. I'm gonna end the game. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Unless we're able to get him right here. No, we get shot in the backfield. Hey, GG's though, man, to the Texas user. Uh, we kind of just dominated this game from the front to the start. The defense, you know, he had some dots, but he got cheated on a couple plays as well. But honestly, just too many turnovers from him on offense. It was just too easy for us with Lamar Jackson. If everything was bad, we just took off with Lamar. This team just isn't fair. I don't really see this season going past season two. I, I don't think anyone wants to play me with Lamar Jackson anymore. But that's a discussion for another day. Let's see what upgrades we got. All right, here we go, boys. Judy with the big time upgrade right here. We will give him the scheme fit. I think he's got all the route running, so we don't have to worry too much about it. It's medium and short. Up to an 89 overall. One overall way from a 90, which is really nice. Mackenzie Milton, our backup quarterback, and Josh Peterson. I'm going to be honest. I don't think either of those guys play, but still a nice dub regardless. We're going into week eight against the Saints, still undefeated. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, man. If you guys did, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much, man. I appreciate it as always. And with that being said, I will see you guys in week eight. Peace.